All right. In the last chapter, we learned how to start a local node on our system. And in this chapter, we'll learn how to simulate a network of nodes. So a node basically contains the entire copy of a blockchain. And the more nodes are there in the network, the more decentralized the blockchain is. So we want to see how multiple nodes have the copy of the blockchain and are in sync with each other. And that's what we want to simulate in this video. So we're right now in chapter seven and all of the commands that we'll follow in this video, you'll have access to all of these commands in this document that has been shared with you. And I'll now take you through all the commands. I'm in the folder where I've compiled my substrate node. And what I'll do is I will run this command, the first command that you'll see in the documentation, which basically purges the chain for the account Alice. It'll ask us for permission. So I'll say yes. So we'll say the DB has been removed. So the database for Alice chain has been removed. Okay. And now we can start off a node. So I'll run this command, which will start off on port 30333. And this is the node key and this is the telemetry URL. And when you click, when you press enter, this will start off a node. Okay. Now we want to start another node because starting one node we've already seen in the previous video. And now we want to start off another node so both of them can interact with each other and we can see how that works. So I'll start off another terminal here. And what I have to do now is I have to just CD into the same project. So I'll navigate into the same uh, project on my computer. And here, the next node that I'll start will be uh, as, as the Bob from Bob address. So first I need to make sure that the Bob chain is uh, purged. It's, it's, uh, the database is deleted. So I'll run this command and I'll say the database has been removed. And now I can run the command to start off the new uh, node from the Bob address. So here I'll say boot node. Boot node is the address of this other chain that's running, the other node that's running. So we'll be able to locate it and we'll be able to interact with it on the same port. So when you see something like this, discovered, right? This is the message that you should be looking for. Discovered, that means these both um, nodes have discovered each other. And the other thing you want to look at is idle and how many peers it has. So one peer, that means this node has another peer which it was able to discover on the, uh, on, the, on the network, which is this other node basically. So both of them have one peer. That means both of them are connected now. Then you'll see something like this, imported one, imported two, three, basically what that means is that they're uh, in sync with each other. So it's imported four now. They're in sync with each other, they're importing each other's blocks and they're uh, having consensus mechanism to decide which block should be next in the blockchain. And they're both in sync with each other, more, more importantly. So now, uh, what you've seen now here is a simulation of a network. So we have shown two nodes here, but this could be any number of nodes. And uh, even though these two nodes are on the same computer right now on my own system, but this could be, uh, imagine a worldwide network of thousands of nodes interacting with each other and it'll work in the same exact way. So with the substrate, the power it gives you is that you're able to simulate a complete network uh, on your own system or probably even globally. Uh, and all you have to do to start, stop this node is press control C and now we're back to the terminal. So this was a permissionless open network in the sense you didn't require any keys to be, become part of this network and interact with the other uh, nodes, but this is not very secure. And in the next video, we'll see how we can create keys for each of the nodes and then store those keys in a key store and then ensure that only the uh, nodes which have those keys and have those access can interact with each other. So let's do that in the next video. 